talk about some incredible video. This incredible. is from New Zealand. Yeah, a huge sinkhole opened up on a farm this week. A vol volcanologist says it's the biggest he's ever seen in the country. There are reports that the sinkhole is about 656 feet wide and 65 feet deep. Massive sinkhole which opened up on a New Zealand farm early last week. It's being called a spectacular development by geologists. That is because this enormous cavern that appeared in the ground exposed volcanic rock that is nearly 60,000 years old. This is pretty spectacular. It's a lot bigger than the ones I've normally seen. What I see in the bottom of the hole is the original 60,000 year old volcanic deposit that came out of this crater. A sinking feeling setting in at the White House, literally, a sinkhole just steps from the White House briefing room and it's growing. As of Tuesday, the White House sinkhole was still pretty small. It's since been covered with a board. A spokeswoman for the National Park Service says the agency is monitoring the hole and is working on a fix. A neighborhood in central Florida suddenly looks like the cratered lunar landscape. People who live here say they started to notice something strange last week, what one resident described as water explosions coming from this now empty pond. It was these sinkholes opening up. Sinkholes are opening up and forcing families from their homes. The problem is underground. At least a dozen sinkholes have opened up in the central Florida subdivision over the past week enough to drain an entire retention pond and force the evacuation of eight nearby homes as a precaution. We've been dealing with so much, uh, scared to death to lose our home right now. Crews are using underground radar going 80 to 100 feet deep to figure out a fix. Christina Carter moved here from Vermont last summer. It gets bigger every day. What, what, how far is this gonna get? How big is it gonna get? And nobody's telling us anything. Just feet away from homes, multiple sinkholes popping up here in the Four Ranch community in Ocala. A worst case scenario is that these sinkholes continue to lose ground to the aquifer below, leaving open the possibility they could continue to grow and eventually merge. What's happened to that thing? I have no idea.
more activity from the steamboat geyser in Yellowstone National Park. The U.S. Geological Survey tweeted today that the geyser erupted for the fifth time this year. Well, Yellowstone National Park's steamboat geyser erupts for the fifth time in the last six weeks. Take a look. The U.S. Geological Survey says steamboat began erupting about 6.30 a.m. Sunday and lasted about 12 hours. The experts say this level of activity hasn't happened since the 1980s. Steamboat geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, just erupted again. Now this is what it looked like when the geyser erupted in 2014, which was the most recent eruption. No activity for three and a half years, but that has changed. Yesterday's eruption was the third in just six weeks. Supervolcanic eruptions have had some devastating effects on our planet and all those on it. Therefore, experts at NASA are working on some risky strategies to prevent one from happening, since we may be on the brink of one erupting very soon. And when NASA experts analyzed the problem, they thought the most logical solution would be to cool the volcano down. NASA has a plan to drill a hole into the side of the volcano and pump water through it. When the water comes back out, it'll be heated to over 600 degrees, slowly cooling the volcano. The team hopes that given enough time, this process will take enough heat from the volcano to prevent it from ever erupting. Good evening on this Monday night. We are going to begin with a disaster unfolding in Guatemala where the volcano of fire has erupted. It is a humanitarian crisis in the making in Central America. Rescuers are trying to pull people to safety, but more than 62 have been killed and that toll is expected to go much higher. A 5.5 magnitude earthquake is among hundreds of new quakes that continue to rock the summit of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano. They are raising concern about another large explosion. Hawaii's volcano emergency enters its fourth week tomorrow with the possibility of a major eruption at any moment. Meanwhile, geologists say the main crater at Kilauea summit has been expanding as more than 500 earthquakes shook the area over a 24 hour period. Lava is now covering more than seven and a half square miles, almost six times as big as New York Central Park. 